out the wings, Harris and Barton. And it's Murray in at the one. Money. With a platoon swap here on the floor. And a new group in for the Nets. Prince has checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Joe Harris comes in for Kevin Durant. He's checked in for Karis LeVert. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Kyrie Irving. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Morris finds Beasley. And There's... it's sent back by Allen. B, guarded by Porter. That's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Taking a look at Golden State, they ascend up the list to number three with some spirited play. And I think the Nets, uh, they've sure made a statement here early on, outpacing some teams that were expected to be better, owning that top spot and defending it with pride. A three-pointer is right on target. And shots like this are why people are just so high on Porter. Has such a quick release on that jump. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Here's B. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. And now an eight-point Nets lead. And from three-point range, guys, he has hit the ground running. What a first quarter. Morris outside. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. The shot's good from B. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. But I get you in a lowly 30% to start this game out. Pass to Porter. In the corner, it's Plumley. Grant kicks to Porter. Down to five on the shot clock. Drills it from outside. Morris has got five now. And not just a scorer, but, but a distributor as well. Porter's court awareness is really impressive. And there's the pass to Grant. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And now just a four-point Nets lead. And so it's Dinwiddie who brings up the ball for Brooklyn. No good from B. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Porter passes to Morris. 152 left to play here in the first. Beasley for three. That one no good. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. And going against Denver, their first meeting of the season. Uh, a matchup that only happens okay. twice a year. These interconference battles can be a wow. lot of fun. Yeah, this one will be for sure. Hey, interconference you know matchups are always pretty fascinating just because of timing on scouting and how often you watch teams like this affect some of the unpredictability of the East-West battles. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Here's Morris after the made shot from B. Yo, how's that? Your big boy, how you been, bud? Porter looking it over. Are you a, uh, are you a subscriber? Or are you Dinwiddie against Morris. Kicks it out to Beasley. And another miss by Denver. Nets leading by eight. Here's B. Hits the three from the wing. B's got 19 points. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. And that one is good by Beasley. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. Oh, no good on. from B. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on, and you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. 
Now here's Porter. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. To the middle, here's Morris. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Morris has got seven points. Now that play never gets old, Kevin. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets with their lead standing at six points. And I called my takeover in, so... And Kevin Durant I'm talked about his teammates up. and the versatility. I like our depth. I like that we could play. It's clear KD is very happy playing with this group of guys. That's why he signed here. But you can bet Durant is going to be leading what the charge. What up, How you doing, bud? That's cool, bro. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And taking a look well, at the Nets' performance here, guys, uh, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly. When Say you do again. it, said, how are you doing? that's the kind uh, of thing that happens. And a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. And Brooklyn, look at who they've got. Be out there with Spencer Dinwiddie. Then it's Joe Harris. Then it's Wilson Chandler. And it's Prince in at the five, roaming the paint. And the Nets making a change here. Karuch has checked in. Nets passing it around. Here's B. And the Nets, another three. Getting and they're getting awesome, their man. points now awesome. almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. And the Nuggets, one of the better offensive teams in the league, but they play at a slower pace. Well, they played last year at the fourth slowest pace in the league. Maybe one of those reasons is the fives that they use in Jokic and Plumlee coming off the bench are not the most agile players in the league. Got to wait for those guys to get their way down into possessions in the half court. But when they were down there, they were pretty effective and pretty tough to stop. Yeah, way to play and attack both and get to the line. Brooklyn shooting their first free throws tonight. The first trip to the stripe in this one. First one falls for them. You know, so many great dribblers, ball handlers in this league right now. Who's the best at shooting off the bounce? Well, three prime candidates to do that, Kevin, exist uh, at the point guard position. And I put James Harden in the point guard category with how much he has the ball. Harden, Kyrie, Steph Curry, three great, great names that are able to find their way to, to get the ball into the shooting pocket. No matter where they move, off the dribble, finding consistency. It's a, it's a really sought-after attribute in, in the players who are coming up now because of how impactful these guys have been. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Passes it to Porter. Shot to stop the run. The shot, no good. And Brooklyn will come the other way. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. And really showed their depth when they needed it I most. Miss? On the road, having to manufacture points. Yeah, and watching that, all kinds of contributions and just little things that guys were doing to chip in for that win and it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score just great ball movement rebounded by the Nets and with the success they've had rebounding the basketball they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in the driver's seat now, here's Grant. Out of bounds. Outside Porter. He kicks to Morris. Pulls from the top of the key. Almost, but it rolls out. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Frustration seems to be mounting Michael here, Porter. and you can see not just in their faces, but right now in their quick and hurried shot selection. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. And finally, with some offense, he stops a 17-0 run by Brooklyn. Yes. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Good work there as it goes. 
That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Over to the wing. Grant against Chandler. The kick out to Porter. Bounce pass from Morris. Just five to shoot. On its way from Beasley for two. And Denver again with the bucket. Nets leading by 19. Here's B. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. B. Dinwiddie's got six assists in the game. And so it's Morris with it. He'll bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. I thought they had a solid game plan coming into that one, and then they made good adjustments along the way. Well, the great thing about watching that game was that we saw it through their offense, and they showed a few different looks that they settled into and played well. Denver's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Beasley with a clean look. Right. Hits it from three-point range. Beasley's got seven points here in this quarter. Seemed to be laying in the weeds there in the first quarter, but now we're seeing him come out, put all the cards on the table, and ramp it up. Now Beasley, after the miss three from B, and Beasley, here we go. Nice D from B. For Brooklyn, they've gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter, up over 50%. Chandler outside. Pass to B. From past the arc, bangs home the trifecta. B's got 42 right, in the game. Say, Good like job by awesome. Wilson right there to recognize his teammate was open and just simply gave it up. Die, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on beach. Excuse me. You put me back in in the same quarter. Go, 135 left to play here in the second quarter. Good ball movement here by the Nuggets. Here's Grant. It's deflected. Here's Jokic. An easy two points on the layup. Jokic has got his third basket of the night right there. 114 left in the first half. Irving passes to B. Offensive rebound, Allen. That misses, and he's 0 for 4. Denver's gone two of four from three-point range so four. far Why in the second so quarter. Pass me the ball. I spam from the outside the arc, and that Come drops on, in man. from beyond the arc. Three-pointer from B. B's got 45 points. The Nuggets shooting has been a little ragged, just 38% from the field. For three, Murray. That one doesn't drop. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting at 50% in a decent groove. Shoots from the corner. Another one falls for Brooklyn. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Oh, Same thing after. this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Here's Jokic, and that one drops for him. Jokic has got 11 points. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. There's the three. Rebound by the Nuggets. Jokic has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Grant. Softly drops in the floater. He has six. Uh, Grant's always looking for those seams, so when he finds one, he'll rip right into it, like his aggressiveness there. And uh, so it's the, the Brooklyn Nets riding high with a 23 point. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with <laughs> Substitution here for Denver. Plumley is checked in for Millsap. Jeremy Grant comes in for Barton. Malik Beasley, he's checked in for Harris. And Monte Morris subbed in for Murray. I mean, he is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. It's Morris and Beasley at the one and the two. Plumley out there with Grant. And it's Jokic in at the center, filling out the middle. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. To the inside. 
And it's Beasley that time in the assist by Morris. Morris has got his third assist on the night. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. That was a terrific sophomore Be season careful, for Monte Leo Morris. Michael. One of the best assist to turnover ratio guys in the league. The former Iowa State Be Cyclone. Careful. Got a lot of rotation minutes and was huge in the playoffs as he came in as a spark plug off the bench. Beasley for three, and he's good on the three ball. Beasley's got seven points here in this quarter. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. The shot's good from B. And how aggressive has he been on the offensive end? Over half the team's points have been his. And for Morris Brent, a great success story on a two-way contract player. Yeah, you got to give credit to the Nuggets and the way that they operated no their, their G League team and the way that Monte Morris was able to develop with a lot of minutes there and then come in and be an impact player. More and more teams being conscientious of how they're Good using pass. the G League. Monte Morris, a success story from that sort of production. Here's B. Jokies. Jokies. And got it! Jokies. Another Jokies. basket. Jokies. And he's been dominant here thus far. And Shouldering the offense, GA really Jokies. taking it to the opposition. And then would he over to help. That's wide open in the corner, y'all. Grant outside. Back to Morris. Another three for Denver. And that assist got him a little nice nod man. from his teammate after that one. Brooklyn leading by 23. Here's B. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. B. B's got 57 points. I mean, he is bringing his game, guys. Another jumper from distance. Jokic inside. Dinwiddie covering. Like 11 feet away. An and there's really. another one for the Nuggets. Now that's not a chance that Jokic is going to mess up. He's too right. good around the rim. Beyond the arc. No good from B. Well, that's not a shot he's Leo ever going to pass stop. up. And he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. Get off of him. Dinwiddie against Morris. Down low, Beasley. And it's Beasley finishing it off. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not Hello, enough face. help there. Wow. Lack of communication on the backside. Liam He's Michael. played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Foul. The Nuggets have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. Yeah, and over the course of the season, they're a respectable 78%. That comes in handy in close games. So for the Nets, Allen's checked in for Chandler, and Joe Harris is subbed in for Rodion's Kuroops. Good, he hits again. Make that 61 points. Yep, everything is going his way right now. Grant outside. It's stolen. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Wow. Here's Morris. Pass to Jokic. Looks Our good. Is good. That's his seventh break. basket in 12 tries. Such an outstanding effort there for the big man to stay focused with oh, his shot. Jokic, tremendous concentration. Jokic, you're a hat, bro. And the turnover again by Denver. And let's see what Denver has coming up on Sunday. They'll be taking on Jonas Valanciunas and the Memphis Grizzlies. And then on Wednesday, they'll be taking on Clint Capella and the Houston Rockets. And for their matchup with the Celtics, there aren't many other meetings that are as evenly matched as this one. Both teams can give and take punches. And this one, I think, is going to come down to the wire. For the three, it's hauled in by the Nuggets. Jokic has got 11 rebounds in the game. Beasley finds Jokic, and Jokic slams it in. Amazing how much the evolution of Jokic has helped evolve the offense that's around him. A fearless player who feels like he can go up and match up against anybody in the league. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. Great power, homie. I mean, he ripped it down <laughs> with both hands. Absolutely a resounding dunk. Murray surveying the D. The pass to Jokic. Grant outside. 
picked his pocket. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Off the oh mark on that gosh. three from B. The Nuggets trail by 21. And it's Jokic in the corner. Right wing. Grant outside. Shot clock at five. Murray with it. Picked up by Harris. With some arc. Murray, no good. Yeah, this has been a night where you could look at his shooting and his performance, and it's affected the team. That's the bottom line. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. I guess seven, two. And here's Jokic. 19 points in the game. No good from Beasley. Man, you get so caught up in the bravado of someone scoring on you and you wanting to even the score. Unfortunately, he couldn't answer back. Here's B. Oh, I just killed him. Good-looking shot from the wing. Oh, and and when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. And stolen by Prince. The <laughs> shot. No good. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. They've had active hands and have forced a lot of turnovers in this one. We come back right after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle but you can do it with the pass. No. Oh, yeah. Out there on the floor for the Nets. At the number of Five trades pass. now starting to involve stars. It feels like the league's power balance is always shifting to some degree. Yeah, and I think organizations that are trying to stay ahead of the trend, Kevin, might think about, think like we might have a star for like just two years. Mm -hmm. How can we get the Which next really one? Want. Backside of that, Kevin, is a lot of these star players are signing. And again for three. He just continues to rein it in from downtown. Hits another one from deep. Craig, the way he's shooting, he has a good chance to join some elite names on the list of the most threes in a game. Murray, good. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. Here's B. Millsap grabs the miss. Millsap's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Barton, and Barton throws it down. Man, once you see Barton pick up some speed, he can be downright scary going towards the rim. Good luck trying to slow that down. Pulls up on the wing. No good jump. from B. The Nuggets have gone. Six. What what Barton is that? What's his name? Oh. Six of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Harris against Dinwiddie. Right at the free throw line. Millsap. Great positioning on the putback. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Passes it to Dinwiddie. Oh, right, how often do players argue call. calls yeah. knowing that they are in the wrong. They, they know they're going after something that, that, that uh, was the correct call. Let's just say often, Kevin. I mean, you just never, the, the whistle. Are they thinking ahead in terms of saying? Yeah, I don't think no, so. No. It's, it's emotional. <laughs> it's just an emotional reaction. I mean, yeah. you're, you're out there running around and doing what you do and you get a whistle. You're yeah, going to Michael, stop. Like, oh, some, I did something wrong. Why am I in the principal's office right now? Are you kidding me? What'd you just do? Give me that, go. Stop shutting the door. Stop shutting the door. You hear me? Go get gummy and bark. Go get gummy and bark. I want to. I want to get my side out. I know you saw it. Everybody does. That sounds like you, you may have done a lot of that. I tried to avoid that, Kevin. That's quite oh, did you? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. I, I don't think it's healthy for for you mm. and your reputation. Mm. And that one's good, Millsap. Uh, like that from Murray right there. When he's passing it like this, it can make him so much Come better and on. so much more open. And you could Get tell he thought that okay? triple was gonna fall. 
Here's Jokic, and Jokic slams it in. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Here's B. Nothing's and the shot falling. is long. Here's Denver now. They're on a 17-7 run. And Harris wide open. He shoots. Karuch grabs the board. Yeah, that miss might stick with him for a Bye -bye. little while. That's Stop. kind of a shoot around what are you jumper doing? if I've ever seen one. Let's it go from the wing. And that one ah. is good from B. B's got seven points for the quarter. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. A pull up. Millsap oh grabs the miss. Millsap's got 11 rebounds in the game. Pass to Harris. Stop. Stop. Denver passing it around. Jokic with it. Defended by Dinwiddie. Here's Harris. That's in. Coming off the assist from Jokic. Jokic has got assist number five wow, here tonight. Dude. Amazing how much the offense has changed around the center position and the way Jokic can see the floor. The shot's good from B. And perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Barton, wide open, he fires, Listen. and they come right back with their Listen. own three-pointer. And that's some nice rotation on the ball there from Barton. Looks totally calm rising up for threes. Listen, Linda, listen. And the ball travels out of his hands. Listen, it Linda. was last touched by Jokic. And the Nets making a change here. Temple's checked in. Here's B. Jordan trying to free himself up to the wing on the left. Millsap with the steal. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for Brooklyn. They had a fantastic play from the bench. And this team has great depth, and they showed it in this game. And an important milestone for them tonight is they pick up win number 10. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for B. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in. Down to five on the shot clock. For three, Millsap. The rebound by the Nets. Here's B. Connects again. 81 on the night, channeling his inner Mamba right now. <laughs> There's, there is no slowing this guy down. He is on fire. Millsap <laughs> inside. He's against oh, Jordan. Stop. Here's Vanderbilt. Off target from outside. Here's B. Uh, Herman Gomez grabs the miss. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Pass to Millsap. Here's Vanderbilt. Morris outside. There's the pass to Millsap. Here's Renan Gomez. Back to Millsap. Inside. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing the... The 2K Sports Post Game Show. And we welcome you back. I'm Ernie Johnson. We got Shaq here. We got Kenny here. With this one in the books, we've got a special post game guest joining us. Hey, what's happening? This is Shaq. You guys came in locked and loaded once again. What's fueled your momentum during this win streak? And, folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always our pleasure, although sometimes it's yours as well. For Kenny the Jet and Shaquille, Ernie Johnson, have a great night.